And as we've heard, thousands of asylum seekers could be moved to the Wheatbelt town of Northam. That sparked local concerns about how essential services will be impacted. The disused World War II army camp was used as a temporary housing for migrants in the 50s and 60s, but is now empty. And with existing detention centres over full, the federal government is considering using it to accommodate 2,000 asylum seekers. It has the space, but needs to be redeveloped. It has power and water on the site, but no sewage and no usable buildings for 2,000 people. So there'd need to be a total rebuild. Immigration Department officials contacted the local council in June, but there have been no further discussions since. We've received nothing officially to say we're on any list, um, so we, we just hold the position that until we're notified by the Commonwealth, uh, it's a nice story, but that's where it is at the moment. The council says it's keeping an open mind. Adding 2,000 people would increase the population of the Northern Shire by more than 15%, and locals say essential services will need an upgrade in order to cope. There are fears that added numbers would put a strain on services like education and health. It takes several weeks to get an appointment here with a doctor. If you put extra 2,000 people here, you'd be, you know, the medical situ situation would be extended beyond capacity. The federal government has yet to decide whether the Curtin Detention Centre or Northern will see the overflow of asylum seekers. Mincy Chung, ABC News.